Yeah, my name is Ernest I'm Mulenga. I'm from Zambia. I was born in a Christian family uh, where my dad was not a Christian, but mom was uh, a Christian. You know, up to the, uh, the age of 12, uh, I thought I knew Jesus by then, but uh, later on I came to realize that I didn't know Jesus. When my elder brother preached to me, he preached to me and uh, in the process I, I wanted to work out my life with Christ. Unfortunately, my brother died. It was a shocking moment that I had a lot of questions. I didn't know what to do. I had a lot of questions about God. Who is this God? Um, I couldn't see any need of following this God who was so um, rude that he could take away my elder brother like that. It was not easy for me and that took me away from knowing God. I got involved with uh, other things, uh, especially my friends. One of the things that uh, I, I did was uh, to get into kind of fighting, using abusive language to other people. Um, I, I lived a two-way life, which was not pleasing to God. I used to praise my family when I'm at home, but when I'm at school, I used to do a lot of ungodly things. It was striking uh, that uh, when the gospel was preached to me, well explained, I realized that I was not a Christian, so I decided to give my life to Christ at that particular moment. And from then, um, my life has never been the same. Born in the Christian family where your parents are Christians, your mother or your, party, your, your father is a Christian, it doesn't make you a Christian. Uh, there is just that turning point that you need to have a personal relationship with God. You, you might um, lose the, the very loved one, the people that you know, those are the, uh, the only people that you rely on. But I want to tell you that um, God uh, is still there for you. Because, I mean, when you look at people, uh, we think those are the only people that will help me out. But God uh, uh, loves you so much and he has a purpose for you and he, has ne he will never turn his back on you. And uh, yeah, from there, I, 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 I felt like it was not enough. So I decided to pursue uh, biblical studies because I wanted to know more about Christ. So um, I decided to go to the Bible school. I felt the, that I need to, tra to be trained for me to go out there and preach the gospel. Especially, I wanted to go back to my friends and tell them about Jesus. So um, I decided to go to the Bible school and the Bible school that I found was GWC and uh, George Whitefield uh, accepted me to come and do um, a, a degree in, in biblical studies that I came to, to GWC. And uh, since I came to GWC, my life has not been the same. I've changed a lot and uh, yeah, I can tell you to say GWC is a good place to be. If you want to pursue your biblical studies, you can look for GWC because GWC has been a place where uh, the, the Bible is uh, being presented to you in the manner that you understand it more than you can sit there and read it by yourself. I think my life has been not been the same since I entered into GWC and I look forward to go out there and preach the gospel.